In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a horizontal long form video like this that has multiple speakers and automatically crop and auto frame videos for social media that look like this without having to do any of the cutting or framing manually. And not only this, but the same tool I'm gonna to show you will also identify the best parts of your video and make clips for these portions with AI. Okay, so firstly to do this, you have to have one single layer of video. That video can either be one that goes back and forth like this with multiple cameras, or it can be a video that has both people on screen the entire time like this. If you've already edited it together like this and you're just trying to make clips of this video, you'll need to export it so it's embedded into one single video layer. This tool only works if you have one video that you're uploading. And then once you have a video that looks like that, you are ready to go. So then you just want to go back to your workspace in Kapwing, and then you can click the repurpose content button. Then you just need to drag in the video that you have ready and want to turn into clips. Here you can also pick what length of video you want your clips to be in. You can also put in any topics that you want clips about and then just click generate. Let AI process the video and then wait for the results. And then you're able to watch back the clips and find the ones you like. You can watch them and you can read along in the transcript to see what portions of the video that the clips pulled. If they're perfect, you can download them straight away just by clicking the download button. But if you do need to make edits, you are able to open them up in a project in the Kapoing editor and they are fully customizable using the canvas and the timeline. This is really helpful because sometimes AI is not perfect, let's just be honest. And sometimes the things like the framing aren't quite right. Maybe it highlights someone else's face when they aren't talking because they're moving in the video, but they aren't actually speaking. Both of these customizations are super, super easy. All you have to do is click on the video in the timeline, and then in the top right of the screen, you'll see speaker selection. So you'll see under speaker selection that it gives you the option to switch back and forth between each speaker just by clicking on each option. It also gives you a third option with both people in the frame. So you can click on those to change the angles and the cropping. So for instance, in this example where I'm not really speaking, but the video is highlighting me because I was kind of moving around, I can just click on Greg's face and then it'll switch to his crop so that he is showing up while he's speaking. And if you aren't happy with the crops either, you can click adjust speaker framing and then click on the little pencil button in the top right corner of each speaker that you wanna edit. And then you're able to move around the speaker selection with the box. So I'm going to drag mine out a little more because I think it's a little cropped in too much and then click apply edits and then that will apply to all of the speaker selections of me throughout the video. Kapwing is also a full video editor. So here you can add images, you can play with different subtitle styles, add background music and more. But yeah, you guys, I hope this is helpful in making clips for videos with multiple speakers. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other tips and tricks like this one and we'll see you guys in the next one.